I'm your host, Cynthia Osain. And I'm Katie Garmendia. The Verdugo Rundown is where we talk about school events, activities, and bringing the information that you seek. This program is brought to you by the Verdugo Hills Leadership for the Verdugo Dons. It's November. You know what that means. Thanksgiving break is closed, Black Friday, Cyber Monday. But don't forget what November is all about, the month of being grateful and cherishing what you have. To start off this month, we wanted to know what are you thankful for? Personally, I'm thankful for my friends and family. But here we have Brennan and Natalie asking you some questions about what you're particularly thankful for. Hi guys, I'm Jaylene. I'm a senior. Thankful for my family, thankful for my friends, and I'm thankful for my life. For my family, because when my writer dies, I love them so much, can't count on them. I love my friends, can't count on them too, but they always make me laugh and smile. And for my life, because I lived a pretty great one so far, and I hope it stays that way. And Thanksgiving break, I'll be eating food with my family. Happy Thanksgiving! Hi, my name is Naomi. I'm 10th grade. I want to say thank you to all of the amazing and wonderful teachers out there. Thank you to my mom and to my dog, I can't wait until Thanksgiving is here to have an amazing meal around the table and to play some games. I'm Alicia Osorio and I'm in 12th grade. What I'm thankful for this Thanksgiving is my family. They're always there for me. They support me in all of my decisions and I love them with all my heart. I'm also thankful for my friends for always being there for me, for supporting me and for giving me advice and having fun adventures with them. This Thanksgiving, my plan is to spend time with my family, have a nice um, Thanksgiving dinner together and um, just spend quality time with each other. Hi everyone, my name is Christina Guerrero and I am a senior. And this year I am really grateful for my health and the health of my family because we are in the middle of a pandemic. Um, this Thanksgiving I will also be spending it here at home with just my grandma and my family, having a small dinner and staying safe. Hi Elena, hope you're doing well. So the first Hi. question is, what are you going to be doing for Thanksgiving break? For usually Thanksgiving, I would go have dinner with my family, like with my cousins, my aunts and uncles. But because of the pandemic, I am, me and my family here are just going to watch a movie. Wait, wait, what kind of movie are you guys going to watch? Who knows? We just pick up the day. The sad one? the day. <laughs> Thank you so much for this interview. Hope you have a wonderful day and a great Thanksgiving break. There is so much going on in the world today, so this brings up the question, what is something that can brighten up your day? Pets. Here are a few students showing off their pets, and let me tell you, it's pretty adorable. Now on a brighter side of things, we wanted to share some of our four-legged friends. This is Karma, she's a chameleon. Now let's say hi to some of our other classmates' pets. Hey everyone, it's Valentina here, and I'm gonna be doing like a little pet vlog today. So I just want you guys to come with me and kind of learn more about like my little dog. So let's go. So I'm in the car, and this is me. Oh, Mason, that's so rude. 
So I'm actually headed to the store, so I'm gonna finally introduce you guys to Mason again. This is Mason. He's like my little son, so we have the same eyes. Um, he might be funny looking, I know the tooth. He might be funny looking, he might look like he bites, but he does not. He does not bite whatsoever, he's never been anyone. He never barks, he's human-like, he has human-like attitude. He loves going to Starbucks to get puppuccinos. That's literally his favorite, favorite, favorite thing. I literally have to get him puppuccino and all of my other dogs puppuccinos. I have five dogs in total and he's like the first one that I got. But yeah, so this is Mason, guys. We're gonna actually go to the store now. So say bye, Mason. Look okay. Bye. Bye, guys. Trick my dog can do is sit, sit, Papa. Patita. Thank you, other paw, other paw, other paw. No, <laughs> other paw, buddy. Oh. Other paw. Good boy. So this is my fish. I don't really have a name for it. We call it fishy for now, but it loves to eat and sleep. how students plan on giving. What's their definition behind the word? Here we have students contributing to the word and sharing that experience with you. Hi everyone, um, I just got a bag uh, for my clothes to donate and I'll probably need more, but yeah, I'm gonna go pick out some clothes. These are some of them. Oh. <laughs> I wish somebody would have told me that I got my bag. Oh, and I have a big bag downstairs that I'm gonna donate to, so we're gonna add that. So I'm gonna donate those bags um, to another one behind there. <laughs> it's a good one right now. I was thinking about the band. I was thinking about the so I have all these clothes that I don't want to need and I'm folding them all and putting them in this bag here um, to donate them. It's heavy, but I'm going to take it to the park and take it to the park. Hey everyone, it's Haley and Thanksgiving is coming up and I just want to say I'm so thankful for everything I have. I wanted to give back to the community this year so I decided to go out and feed the homeless. I ordered a bunch of food from Jack in the Box. I got waters, drinks, chips, granola bars. I even got dog treats for all the dogs out there. And I went all over the valley and fed the homeless. I made sure I, I, made sure I was safe. I had gloves, masks, everything. And I really want to encourage everyone to try and give back this year, whether it's donating old clothes, a couple cans for maybe a can drive nearby, maybe one or two dollars for an organization. Anything really helps, so yeah. Wish I didn't think I had the answers Wish I didn't drink all of that glass first Wish I made it to homecoming Got up the courage to ask her Wish I would have gotten out of my show Wish I put the bottle back on that shelf Wish I wouldn't have worried about What other people thought and felt comfortable with myself Rooftop open And the stars above Moment frozen sneaking out and falling in love Me, you and that futon We just begun On the grass dreaming Figuring out who I was Those good old days I wish somebody would have told me, babe That someday these would be the good old days All the love It is 
is a great historical month for America. As many of you know, there is a new president-elect of the United States, the 46th in fact, the man himself, Joe Biden, and the first ever female vice president, Kamala Harris. With all the issues that have occurred in America this year, this victory gives us renewed faith in tomorrow. And all politics aside, this is a remarkable moment for our country. We need more women and people of color in leadership. There are a few seniors from Verdugo who are at the age of voting, and if you weren't informed, some students our age can become poll workers. Here we have Isaac Venegas, who voted on November 3rd, and Stephanie Gonzalez, who was a former poll worker and helped with the election setup. They'll be telling us their experience, what they expected, and giving you the information that you should know. Voting for the first time was very exciting because now I was trusted with the responsibility of selecting our future leaders, which is what makes this country so great and what I would say to people who aren't 18 yet is that you should exercise this right that you have because if you have an opinion you should voice it through your vote. Hi my name is Stephanie Gonzalez and I'm a senior at Verdugo. I volunteered to work in elections as a student poll worker. What I can say this opportunity has given me was a hands-on experience learning how local elections are conducted. I received training on how to open a polling place, process the voters, and close the polls. It has helped inspire me to register and vote when I turn 18. I was able to play an active and important role in our community. I can honestly say it was a bit stressful, but I will always be grateful for the overall experience and the opportunity I have gained from the people I met. Watching this month's episode of the Verdugo Rundown. We are grateful for the time you spent to watch the newscast. It is greatly appreciated. Signing off, I'm Cynthia Osain. And I'm Katie Garmendia. Until next time.